final result of the never ending part that we made in the last session. So to be honest, all these different sizes and paper cutting was a bit hard, big hassle for me. So I researched a bit and found another way of making a different shape of the never ending card. For this one, again, we need a sheet of paper. This is cardstock in new and we need to make it a square. So since this is a letter size, eight and a half by 11, I'm going to make a eight and a half inch square. I'm going to make some marks and then cut it out. So I have to measure eight and a half. Okay, so just join these two marks and cut out the square. just going to align the pencil mark that I just made with the wire on my cutter and hold it down and cut it. So now I have my square. Now I think this way is the easiest way I've found. So since I have a eight and a half inch square, the half of that would be 4.25. So I'm going to score my uh, square midway that is 4.25 which is here so I'm going to score it all the way and turn it around and then again score it at 4.25 made a mistake here my score is slipping a bit okay so here that's my uh, 4.25 inch mark and then do the same the other way, way to 4.25 over here and then score it all the way done and score it all the way So maybe this square that I cut is not perfect, but that's fine. The idea is to make half a marks and then make quarter way marks. So the quarter of that will be 2.1 and 2.1 way mark I'm putting here, right? So since there is a half a mark, I just fold it. I can do this way too. Okay, 2.1 right and then score it the other way and we should be good okay so we have scored it all the way now we have to do it this way as well we're gonna fold it this way and then score it all the way so then 2.1 And then turn it around 2.1 so now we have all these core marks I hope you can see so the easiest way now is we need to cut out these four squares in the middle so easiest way to do that is fold it and then cut this out So 
So here's my scissor. And make sure I'm on the right folds. The center one because I made some crease marks by mistake. Okay, and now we need to cut these two because we have folded these two will get cut together so easy okay cut till there cut till there and then just take this part out All right, so we have our foundation base. So now, the easiest part. We don't need to cut any further. Now I'll take my glue stick. And the right top corner. I'll apply the glue stick to the right top corner. And the left bottom corner. Okay. So apply generously because this is cardstock and it needs to be cut properly. I mean, it needs to stick properly, and glue stick glue might not stick it properly. So now the top right and the bottom left are stuck. Now we got to fold it on this crease mark inwards. So that's one. And then fold this one inwards and that's two right so it's open here and open here so now I'll just neaten this edge over here the parts that are sticking out a bit over here I'll just cut them properly all right so this is done now we need to put glue here on the left top and the bottom right so again apply generously left top and bottom right so basically for both the alternates of the never ending card you need to know your you need to have a square and then you need to know the half and the quarter so now again now we'll fold this inwards like this and this is stuck and then fold this part inwards and we have our card so let's see did that work okay we need to fold all the folds properly my glue is still a little bit wet here so one two three four again one two three and four so that's our tiny square shaped never ending card i hope you like it so here is the finished one i have made a half an inch uh, smaller squares uh, these squares measure 2.25 inches i have made 1.75 inch squares in black card uh, black uh, normal sheet uh, craft paper and i have stuck it on all the four panels so we have 
our never ending card. 